Winter Tour Museum, Garden and Library has a special relationship with the natural world. The museum and library collections hold countless numbers of objects that celebrate and are inspired by nature. Outside the museum doors, the relationship grows even stronger. This 1,000 acre landscape is home to thousands of species of plants and wildlife, and even some working goats. The symbiotic relationship between Wintertour and its environment influences our mission and work inside and outside. The natural lands and horticultural staff care for the woodlands, fields of wildflowers, waterways, and gardens. Some of the cultivated plants here first flowered in the 1800s. The woods include individual trees that are even more ancient. This natural longevity, like those of the koi fish here, remind us we are temporary stewards charged with protecting this corner of the world and keeping it healthy so it may continue supporting future generation. To that end, we have added riparian buffers and freshwater mussel colonies working hard in the ponds and waterways. These leave the one million gallons of fresh water flowing through the landscape cleaner than when it arrived. Through a partnership with a local or environmental organization, we provide nesting boxes for endangered American kestrels. The diverse habitats here attract dozens of bird species and also help support our honeybee colonies. Likewise, the museum, library, and conservation staff care for and study the collections of fine and decorative arts and material culture of the American past. These collections inspire us to ask, what they can tell us about humans' past interactions with the natural world. For example, the maker carving this mahogany armchair used a design ultimately inspired by seashells and taloned feet. But the chairmaker also participated in the economic and environmental activity contributing to the rapid depletion of mahogany forests. We also see historical desires for some animal organic materials differently. Elephant tusk, ivory, red coral, tortoiseshell, and vividly colored bird feathers all provided appealing, workable materials made into luxurious or useful objects. But as a result, within slightly more than one century, the animals and their habitats transitioned from plentiful to scarcity. Sometimes artwork, such as James Audubon's print of the Carolina parakeet, is all that remains today of a once thriving creature. Artwork created to celebrate the beauties of natural landscape, also preserves visual records of the impact of human activity. This English transfer printed soup plate was inspired by a Russian traveler's painted image of Niagara Falls in the early 1800s. It records the falls before photography and before the site was developed as a tourist destination. Landscape images also help us ask truly personal questions. This expansive view by Robert S. Duncanson captures the majestic beauty of the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. He drew inspiration while traveling through the South as a free Black artist a decade before the Civil War. What meanings did this landscape hold for him? The collections overflow with study sketches and finished artwork featuring natural elements that once were so present in daily life. A particularly colorful example is this cover stitch for a prayer book by the aptly named Ann Flowers of Philadelphia. It depicts florals and even ripe strawberries. Ann's sketchbook includes studies of published botanicals and her original designs. Such objects open our understandings of how varied artists scrutinize nature, as well as the pleasure they found in it. Confluences between nature and design are the focus of our exhibition called Outside In. Winter Tour is collaborating with the Delaware Museum of Natural History to explore creative connections between the natural world, materials, and the decorative arts. You will see objects raise, ranging from a hornet's nest to minerals and fossils, to exquisite woodworking and shellwork. Seeing such interrelationships in design energizes our understandings of the needs for environmental conservation and responsible use of resources. Humankind's relationship with the natural world is evident in myriad ways inside and outside at Winter Tour. The dedicated staff and volunteers work to preserve precious natural resources and to conserve, study, and share historical resources that represent and celebrate these relationships. We hope you appreciate this video and our participation in Earth Days. Together, we can restore our Earth collaboration.